I'm the big bad wolf. The villain of every story. Duh. And this is the crew. Miss Tarantula, Mr. Shark, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Snake. Everyone copy. 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 We're the bad guys. It's crime time, baby. Shark. We need a distraction. Do I get to improvise? Fine. Please be subtle. I'm having a baby! Is there a doctor? Or perhaps several security guards that could leave that post? Hey everybody, we're here with you this week with another great edition of Adore It or Ignore It. And we have got some good stuff that we're gonna share that we're gonna share with you. And of course I have Jessica Crump here. Hey Jessica. Hi there. So she has got some great stuff to share with us today. We're gonna share a movie and a book like we always do, and then kind of what we're gonna be doing um for another couple of weeks here. So welcome Jessica. Thank you for having me. Yes, 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 of course. Uh, on a door to work north today, we always start out with, you know, let's talk about movies. So what yes. have you got for us today? Okay, so we watched The Bad Guys, and it is actually streaming now, so you can stream it at home. It's great. Um, I love that option just because I do have a younger one, um, and he actually really enjoyed this movie in particular, but I just don't, he's not quite old enough to really understand the, the point behind it, but my oldest kind of did, and it was a conversation that we had afterwards. So going into it from the trailer, I was like, okay, these are bad guys that are going to turn good. Um it had a total plot twist, though. So they threw in a guinea pig who was a loved by the city. He was being awarded this award for being that outstanding citizen. And he said, you know, I'm going to take these bad guys and I'm going to turn them good. And the chief of police was like, this is our last straw. Like, this is it. So you do that. And, um, you know, you, if anyone can do it, it's going to be you. Well, it turns out this little guinea pig was the bad guy all along and had planned this big heist and he went through with it and he blamed it on the bad guys. So they get thrown in jail. They start fighting with one another because the wolf wants to be good and he's trying to convince, you know, his friends. And then someone comes in as a ninja and breaks them out. Well, it turns out it is a wolf. And it's the governor. And she says, you guys, I know who did this. Help me bring him down, like protect my city. So she used to be a bad girl, a bad girl, a bad guy. And she uses her smart skills as being mm -hmm. a wolf for good. So they team together. They take the guinea pig down. The bad guys get to be the good guys. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end, it just kind of really teaches our kids, like the people that we think are good are, you know, they're good guys or they're our friends or they're trying to help us may not always have the best intentions. Yes. Yes, that's true. Okay. Well, that's good. That's a good uh, moral then. It's a good moral and it's a really light way to, for kids to kind of say, oh, we thought he was good, but he wasn't good. Um, so it was really, I was like, Cooper, did you catch on to that? Like, did you see how, and he was like, yeah, he tricked them. And I was like, yeah, that, that even happens to, to mommy, like mm -hmm. a, adults are that way. Um, you know, so you have to kind of always have that in your mind. Like, is yes. this the best for me? Like, yes. are these people really have my best intentions? Um, because yes. growing up, like you, you have to be able to recognize, you know, this, the signs of that. So yes. I like that this movie really made um, it lighthearted, but really kind of put that in their mind of like, oh, this really could happen. That's exactly right. Yes. Uh, people can set you up all the time and you know, especially kids because you're, you know, they always want what they want. And so they'll get to it, you know, so yes. and there's the, the adult nice kids are nice and they'll take yeah. advantage of those nice kids. And there's adults that are even like that. They oh. want what they want and they don't care who they hurt to get that way. So um, this was just a really light, good way to show these, you know, our, our kids that, you know, that does happen. So, yes. And, and uh, using, and using characters, um, in the forest or, or, you know, with wild animals, it just humanizes them. It, it puts those traits in there without looking like a mean person. You know what I mean? Yes. And they use the, the characters was a shark, a tarantula, a snake, a wolf, a frog. It's all things that people are scared of. So basically these guys were saying, you know, we're bad because our whole life people saw us that way. We, right. you know, and it's kind of like yeah. if you are the, a sibling, a younger sibling and your older sibling was, you know, a bad kid, you're yeah. automatically kind of lumped into, right. you know, 
Mm-hmm. You know, bad There's also a snake in there too, and everybody hates. Yeah, snakes. and nobody. Yes, the snake. I do not like snakes. So I don't even like. I don't even like cartoon snakes. Okay. No, me either. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I just they're. Whew. So yeah. that they did a really good job of characterizing. Like, okay, well, this is why they're bad because they never really had a chance. Because anytime you see a, a spider or a snake, you don't. I don't personally care if it's a good snake or a bad snake. It's a snake. So um, it was just a really cool way of giving those characters, uh, you know, why they were bad and how they turned good. So yeah, and that's why people kind of use those names to and kind of give nicknames to people with the yeah, that guy's a snake. You know, that yeah. guy's yeah, that guy's just a wolf, man. Just, eh, you know, a wolf in a uh, sheep's, sheep's clothing. clothing. Exactly. Yeah, that so all the time, so. It was actually a really great transition for that for the story to be good message for the kids. And and what about the action? All good. All good at yes, all good. Um, it was uh, all in all, I adored it. It was a great film. Okay, good. So adore. Thumbs up. All right, all right. So that's great. So bad guys, stream worth your money. You don't have to worry about anything. If you can leave the room, the kids are okay with the content. Absolutely. Okay, that's the number one thing with those kind of movies. So you're good with it. Okay, perfect. So is he going to want to watch it again? Um, we bought it, so I rented it on stream, and then we en- we ended up watching it wanting to watch it again um and it was past you only have like a certain amount of time so i just went and bought it because i feel like it's one of those ones that they will want to watch again oh good yeah so they can just kind of take their nap or whatever and watch that and Mm -hmm. it's definitely something that i would be okay with like if i needed to go do some laundry like they could sit and if it's a rainy day or whatever we're not outside like you could totally watch this movie and i feel totally you don't have to worry about okay that's great relief so that's a big adore on that for For sure yeah Okay. Um, All right. Now we're going to talk about our book. And last week we talked about Ridiculous uh, Nicholas. And of course, this is a book that I wrote and it's, it's just a, a fun, lighthearted book, just a little adventure in a kid's day, basically, or his little Mm -hmm. span of life there and how he, how he approaches life and then how he understands that sometimes those approaches aren't always the most favorable. Mm Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So anyway, so t- tell me what you, you read it, and it, it, has, it has pictures in it to help you. It does. It's and fun pictures, but it's pictures, you know, to help. No, you. it's pictures. It was enough that um, Carter. So we said, and I read it with Carter alone. You know, by just me and him, and he he'll be three this month. Um, and he loved the pictures. It was we Good. picked out bikes, and we we've talked about colors and so there was a lot in here that we could do. Even the the little blonde mom, he said, um, he loved that mommy he was like mommy with her little blonde hair yeah <laughs> so uh he liked that but um all in all this book was a really great for my oldest one who is seven now um because it, it is a hundred percent what he's going through in life with trying to be the cool kid trying to be the funny kid sometimes saying things that i'm like cooper like why and he's like oh, i'm funny and i'm like it's not it's not funny like that's silly yeah. um or just saying things out of character just because other kids laugh at him because either they're laughing with him or they're laughing at him we're not really sure at this point but he thinks that if he's funny so so this was a really great book to kind of show him like sometimes those comments aren't necessary yeah. um and that at the end he got more praise because he did the right thing versus trying to be silly so um really great for elementary school kids i think right. even maybe even middle school kids because sometimes sixth graders are a little ridiculous too yeah so um and it's still that still really elementary to sixth grade i mean you're coming from fifth grade which i totally put that in elementary category it is mm-hmm. sixth grade is still i mean you're only talking 12 months difference yeah you know i think it it's it's um i think it's great for all those age groups so well, good well thank so um and, and on on the part of it you know, even with the little beanie and everything, he's just trying to be like, he's yep. kind of that little character, but he's got an idea. You know, it's just, even if you just go with the visuals, you just kind of keep those in your mind. That's why we made them so big. Uh, you know, it's like the bird bath. Okay. Yes. Like example. So he's just being ridiculous saying, why are you taking a bath when nobody's telling you to take a bath? Yeah. Well, and this one I love because I can <laughs> see my kids saying this, like, why is no one eating these? Oh, because they're terrible. Like, yeah, and they say it, and kids are they truthful. do that. I'm like, 
you are that's too honest <laughs> like um we, you don't have to let me know that my cooking's bad like yeah yeah um, we can find other ways to be like i don't really want to eat that so i i laughed at that one especially because i'm like yeah. that is just something that has, i know has happened in our yeah life. exactly so, so we've all been there with you know aunt tilly's you know uh, Yes. Involved. And I love how we tied friends in here because I think that's the biggest thing right now in their age group is just trying to that's stick right. out, you know, uh, be find their, who their friends are, I guess, in a way. And just mm -hmm. that they don't have to be silly in order to create those relationships. So right. um, I liked how it just went throughout his whole day of like different situations. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we all know that. So uh, this is called Ridiculous Nicholas. And this is my first series of the book. So what I'm going to do is start a whole new campaign with it, with um, Ridiculous Nicholas and all sorts of activities. And that would be day camp, you know, somewhere or camp, mm -hmm. and then we go to, you know, go to the beach, you know, rid Ridiculous Nicholas at wherever. So I I'm going to start my second one. So Ridiculous Nicholas, hang on, it's not the, that's just the intro for him. So anyway, that's we're gonna see more they like it. So we're on the thumbs up on that. Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Anyway, I hope you get it and get it online, Amazon. You can uh, download it and ebook so they can do that too. So that's kind of right. nice. And you get all the pictures and everything. So hopefully you do that. All right. So next week, school will be out. It will. I will have a second grader. Um, he was a little disappointed that he didn't. He was thinking that they got a graduation every year. <laughs> I was like, baby, you only get a kindergarten, an eighth grade in high school. We can't do that to mommy every year. And he was like, so I just go to second grade. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, life. You you have one to of those it. ridiculous comments of like, yeah, you just yeah. move on to second grade. So That's right. um, we last next week we have will be our last week and we are out for the summer. That's right. Out for the summer. And then kids are going to be activity, activity, activity. Yes. So we have every sports camp lined up through the summer to try to Good. keep them busy and active. Um, vacation Bible school. We've got, um, got that BBS. Yes. So hopefully we will keep him busy and um, entertained somewhat this sure. summer. We're going to take him to the beach um, the first week of June for their birthdays. So, um, yeah, we've got lots planned. Yeah. So really that's code for keeping them busy means code for wearing them out. So they, uh, they won't have Absolutely. all that energy all day. Absolutely. And so home. that, <laughs> yes. And so when I get home from work, my babysitter doesn't want to quit. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's right. So uh, next week, since it is the last week of school, we will uh, not have one next week, but uh, a podcast next week. But uh, we will pick up after that because you guys are going to go on vacation. But also, there's a movie coming out on Disney Plus, which is the streaming. Mm -hmm. It's only coming out on streaming, and we may uh, review that when we come back. And that would be Rescue Ranger. Rescue Ranger. And that uh, yes. is Chippendale Adventure. Chippendales. Is that what you said? Chippendales. Yes. Okay, those have been around since. Yes. Chip and there's some really big names in this. So there's Seth Chip Rogen. And Dale. Yeah. Chip and um, Dale was the characters. But anyway, who who's the voices? Uh, we have Seth Rogen and Andy Samberg. Are the two J.K. Simmons? I mean, he's been in a lot of stuff. Um, so I think I'm looking forward to it. I wonder what the premise is. Is it so rescue ranger in the forest or in the city or we don't know yet? I, I think it's in the city. I'm not really sure yet. Okay. So Chip and Dale, because it, it's a Chip and Dale's chipmunks, but they're Chip and Dale. You know, yes. And it's, it's not a reboot. It's a comeback is what it says mm -hmm. on the, it's a comeback. So okay. it, it's almost like the uh, chipmunks, you know, remember the chipmunks mm -hmm. when they came out? Yes. Kind of like that. Alvin and Simon and Theodore and all that. So yes. And so, so it has those a new generation. This is a spin off of the it's Alvin and the yeah. Yes. Alvin and it's a spin off of the Alvin and the Chipmunks film series, is what it's yes, right. So, so anyway, so Chip and Dale, and they're coming around, but because you got a whole new generation that is, has to be introduced to that and it's just one of those things. So that's what they do. Okay. And it's good because it's it's they're fun characters. They are. So it, I think it should be good. And it's my favorite. It'll stream on Disney Plus. So if we don't like it or it's not good, like we just turn it off. So that's always a plus. Yeah. And these streaming movies only for streaming is like the old days when they made movies only for television. 
networks. Yes. TV movies. It's what they mm-hmm. called TV movies. And they just made them for, it was a movie of the week or whatever. Like a Hallmark. Uh-huh. Or- well, no, not even before then. This is just the network, NBC, CBS, ABC. Oh, okay. They would make their own tel- their own movies and they'd have movie of the week. And each of them would have one on a different day. So you just watch the movie on television. Wow. So, so streaming is just another extension of that whole thing. Idea, so they're making their own movies to stream on their own channels only. Own so that's the whole premise of that. So, well, Disney uh, is, which is a good one because you know you, they can maximize that. Well, the bad guys we got on Hulu, uh, Amazon. We got it on Amazon. Yeah. Um, so this one will get with them. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, good. So all right, we'll see you in two weeks because we'll be out by then, and I mean back by then, and then we'll have more stuff to share with you and all that so because jessica's going to be with them for an entire week i will lots of adventures to talk about at that Mm -hmm. so anyway okay well anyway we hope hopefully you have guys have a nice end of the school year and we'll see you later all right bye bye